Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Resin. You must have heard of the very famous game Roblox. It is very common around people of all ages. However, you would find people who get annoyed by this game and in some cases would stop playing this game due to the new players known as noobs. Noobs is an internet slang used for people who are new or inexperienced at something. These noobs in Roblox are known for some stupid or you can say annoying behavior. Five such behaviors are talked about in this video. Number one, constant nagging. Noobs are known to be constantly nagging and irritating. They continuously ask for help in how to play the game or how to look for stuff around the game. Some people find this so annoying to be asked questions again and again. It is believed that Roblox is a very simple game and can be easily played without asking for any help. For instance, when they curiously ask their famous question, how do I play this game? And you just feel like replying that it is so evident how to play this game, then why do you have to encounter us for it? Let's for instance, assume that this game is actually difficult to play and you can't get a whole of it, then why don't you make use of the online tutorials available for this game? Most kids come across this game and maybe they don't know about these tutorials flying around YouTube. They just won't stop here, but instead will start following you around the game until you help them. They will try to become your shadow and will try to understand the game this way. Number two, message, message, message. Noobs have no idea about social interactions. Although texting is very common in games nowadays and a player can interact with the rest of the players by one tap of a message, it is also a much appreciated feature in games as players enjoy interacting with others. However, there is a limit to it. Noobs do not get this concept of limitations and you will find them texting you now and then. You help them once and they won't leave you forever. That's stupid, right? It is difficult for them to judge whether a person wants to talk to them or not. It starts with one message. Hey, can you tell me about this or hey can you help me with this and then it is an everlasting series of messaging towards hey why are you not replying you would feel like saying that is because i don't want to many people end up blocking these noobs when they can't deal with it anymore however some people do get this hint and would stop texting Number three, always crying for friends. Another famous thing that noobs are known for is, will you be my friend? Or, hey, can you add me as your friend? Or another famous form of asking is, I want to play this game with a friend, so will you be my friend? Now, it may be thought that these kids out there not all have friends. They might be finding this as the only way to interact with people and maybe get some friends to have by their side. Some might not have friends who play video games or specifically Roblox games with them, so they want to have some company. However, not all find these reasons solid enough to constantly come across this question of friendship, some people just want to sit back, relax, and play a game instead of social interactions. In such cases, they find this friendship idea of noobs to be stupid. Number four, accusing of hacks. Well, noobs do not know how to play this game at first, and in such cases, when they see people playing it efficiently, they would simply start calling them a hacker. You would get messages like, I am sure you're a hacker, or you have hacked this game, which is unfair. And more or less, they end up calling you a cheater. To add fuel to the fire, they would rush to report you and you will be blocked. The minute Roblox gets a report, they would not waste time in blocking you. Now this makes people find noobs so irritating and stupid when they come across false accusations. If noobs don't find themselves getting a grasp over the game, Game, they would assume that those who are fishing at it must be hacking. Number five, demanding for donations. You would constantly come across people saying, give me some Robux or donate me some Robux, please. And the minute you see this, you will figure out that these are noobs. Yes, it might be possible that these kids get bullied for not having Robux or not being able to get a customized character. I also understand that kids just want to fit in. However, let's not forget the fact that not all people get this concept. Some find it very frustrating to come across such noobs. They just want to play their game and these noobs would not stop asking for donations. Not only this, but if you tell them no, which is a very straightforward reply that should make these noobs go away, they would become relentless. They would just not leave you until you donate them something. Let's just sum it up by saying that these noobs need to get a hold of this game and try to cover up their behavior in order to move with the pace of others. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss out on any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.